Bank of Jamaica Governor Richard Bell says there is extra demand in the market for U.S. dollars, denying reports of a shortage of the foreign currency. He has also commented on the fluctuation in the exchange rate. Speaking Friday on RGR's hotline with Emily Shields, Mr. Bell said the country's net international reserves cannot be used to intervene in the market every time the Jamaican dollar depreciates against the U.S. currency. I don't think that BOJ has a responsibility to fund an investor who wants to put $20 million in some project or the other. We don't have the obligation to fund that out of reserves. The private sector mechanism that is managing foreign currency trading, they need to figure out how to digest and fund that $20 million and not knock on the door of the country's reserves to do so. Mr. Bell says financial institutions should figure out how to fix the problem when it arises. So if at 131 or 132 back in December, then end users had entered into those contracts, knocked on the doors of their banks and said, look here, Mm -hmm. I have some bills to pay in January on the 14th or the 17th. I want to enter into a contract. Tell me what rate. They would have had the dollars today and they would be happy. So there is, a, there is a possibility for the end users to smooth out the volatility in the market by entering into forward contracts. And those contracts are facilitated by the commercial bank. Mm-hmm. Why isn't that happening? President of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, Richard Pandoy, told our news center that the shortage of U.S. dollars in the local foreign exchange market is worsening and is now a major cause for concern. However, Mr. Bal says banks should be more responsible in how they allocate U.S. dollars when requested. He says this is one way to prevent ad hoc large transactions which place pressure on the market. They have customers that are regular buyers from them. Uh, They need to allocate a reasonable amount of money to them uh, and wait their turn to fill the extra demand. That's how I see it. But if you have a transaction where by X time, if you don't make a deposit, whether it's deposit on a purchase, closing final payment, then you actually can um, land into breach of contract. How do they wait out the market to get that money? Why would you enter into a contract that's so time-sensitive and you don't have certainty of supply? Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.